Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon removing the, reviewing the first movie of the night and this is Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1. So of course you know this is Chapter 1, duh. So when you watched the trailer for this movie, a lot of it I think was a mix of Chapter 1 and 2. And I kind of was thinking like, oh when is that moment going to show up? When is that going to show up? It doesn't. So a lot of it's probably going to show up when I watch the movie in August. So, did I like this movie? I thought it was a well crafted movie. Yes, I could tell a lot of people in the audience was feeling the runtime because it is three hours and there's a lot going on, a lot of storylines. Because you think it's just a Kevin Cosner movie and you know the Luke Wilson and the Sam Worthington and the Jenna Malone and the, you know, Selena Miller, they're all like going to be part of the Kevin Cosner storyline. That is not the case because like the Luke Wilson is Kansas, Kevin Cosner is Wyoming. Then you have the Native American storyline. And then you have another storyline that happened in this Horizon spot that I'm guessing is in California. So this is a very sprawling movie. And I, that, I don't think I was expecting that. I was expecting more of all this connecting, which I'm going to guess in Chapter 2. And if Chapter 3 does occur, if there's supposed to be a Chapter 3, it will probably connect a lot better. But this is mostly a storytelling process of what each character might bring in chapter two uh look gorgeous i mean you could tell there's very very minimal sound stage or green screen effects especially some of them caves but other than that the makeup's great the story is really intriguing even though yes it could be intriguing i'm curious where each story is about to go i was not that bored with this movie I mean, yeah, I wasn't bored, but I was feeling the runtime on the act. I, it sounds kind of weird saying it that way, but it's hard for me to justify this movie with not knowing part two. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I do enjoy what I think it's going to go. Just because it's a sprawling Western, it doesn't pull any punches for the brutality of when it does occur. And I think that's the also, I'll say that's why I think people got a little upset at with, is the first 30 minutes, 40 minutes is like, I want to say it's nonstop action, but you're like, oh, we're about to get into something. And then that never really comes back for the last two hours. So maybe that's what's hindering the audience, but we'll talk about it more because I got to go for Quiet Place Part 2 40X. Chase Saki with the Blue Futon.com. Subscribe. One of the Blue Futon. Hope you Blue Futon. Thank you for a great day. And it's day one, not part two, you idiot.